Sorry for the big mess. Okay, here goes. Testing the flashback arrestor. Working. If it doesn't work, you'll see this hose light up. It's too loud. I'm going to wake my son up. Not cool. I think I might have just let it get too hot. <sighs> kind of cool, actually. It is working, but if you rapid fire it, it'll heat up enough in there to ignite inside. I can see a little green flame burning down inside there, but other than that, I'm definitely going to hook this up to my torch. Uh oh, there it went again. Yeah, it's burning down inside there. Okay, so in conclusion to that, Airstone flashback arresters of this type are not very good. It's actually burning down inside of here in a very strange way. It actually might be of some kind of use. very hot right now. It could be the main reason of its failure. So far, giving it a second to cool down seems to make it be a working device. Burnt for a second that time. I'm going to try it on the highest flow possible now, so it could get interesting. Oh, yeah. There's all kind of crazy stuff going on in there. See it blowing hot sand out on me now? One more time. Look at that little rocket. Doing it again here. Oh, great, that was on this whole time. Yeah, it's burning down there, dang it. Every time now. Well, you can see that. <laughs> I put it out real quick. So, there you go. It's the answer to my question. It ain't even working one time now. Okay, so do not build flashback arresters out of air stones unless you somehow configure it not to do that. Got this idea off some internet stuff, of course. That was very neat how I got that to burn down inside of there, though. You guys working on heating systems and stuff like that. I like how it maintained that flame down inside of there like that.
So the whole air stone is melted mush at this point. So it does not work. But I want to post this anyway because I've seen people doing instructional videos on how to do this. They use metal fittings, but to me, it don't matter what you make it out of. You've seen the rocket engine I just built. Good thing it only costs two bucks. Two dollar rocket that has no thrust. I'm going to do one more test of this thing. the last time I'm trying this setup. Earlier when I did this, I just kept lighting and hitting it so fast that I just got it too hot. It probably would have worked and wouldn't have reacted the way we've seen it react if it had just been exposed to a single flashback. But uh, basically what I got now is just the one air stone and this metal fitting here. Now if it burns down inside here this time, I'm done with this project altogether. I'll just be... Um, buying a whole pack of five MIG tips I guess so kinda worried about this actually I don't like doing flashback tests yep it lit in there <laughs> it'll float it on a little high and it was louder than hell shit I better stop. The neighbors will be calling the cops on me. I almost want to get a shot of that burning in there, but you couldn't see it in this part, so it's definitely taking place in here. Oddly enough. Not quite sure what to do now. I almost want to blow it up. See what happens if I let it run. Gonna have to do it. Okay, man, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay. I got scared and backed out on you. Because I could smell it bad, too. So the Airstone video guy... I don't know what to say about you, man. Maybe he had ceramic air stones. It seems to be some kind of plastic compressed composite. Well, it's kind of cool, though. Coolest waste of $2 I've seen in a while. Fireworks are a big waste of money, too, I guess. Wow. Probably won't be able to see any of that, but it was burning most in a ring area around the circumference of this. The center didn't seem to be burning. So it didn't flash back into the system but it is not a flashback to rest her. I may try to build some kind of uh, burner that runs on this principle. I kind of like the idea of that hidden flame because there's some certain situations where I've wanted a flame that can't be blown out by high pressure air. 